grisly tale of a winter's night. One of an invisible killer and a crime perpetrated on the pavement along Briar Road. As the victim lay at death's door, the mystery of just who had stabbed the young lady from behind had been resolved. But no sooner had my friend saved that Eastern Exchange student from his harrowing plight, than in the dim, flickering shadows of gaslight did a second bizarre crime rend the stillness of that very night. I dare say most can still recall the sensational headlines of the day. Haunted apartment of death. The condemned criminal's curse. The dread demon of coal gas. Yet, though the great detective had at once discerned the truth upon his arrival at the scene, it only proved to be the overture that announced the rising of the curtain on a most tragic play.
Objection!
Guilty. 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 Guilty.
Objection!
got it!
action! Objection!
action! Thank you. 
action!
action!
Now, looking back, I feel I understand. I can see why Mr. Sholmes forbade Iris from publishing the story. It would take a little longer before I saw the link between everything that had happened and would happen. For it wasn't until two months after the arrival of Susato-san's letter that events began to unfurl again, with an incident that took place at the very heart of the eagerly awaited Great Exhibition of London. <laughs> 